Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Little Friends. It's morning for me, I'm enjoying my coffee. It's beautiful outside, well, in Little France, of course. I don't know if in your country it's, uh, it's nice outside because <laughs> I heard the temperatures are going crazy in America, also in Australia, in Europe as well. So, well, who knows? Maybe it's autumn in a winter season of spring. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, glad to uh, see you. Well, not really see you, but uh, glad you know you are here and watching this um, and uh, enjoying this with me. I tell you from the st from the start that you are going to enjoy this build. I at least I did. I did quite a lot. Uh, it took twice as I was expecting. I've been working for this entire build for like maybe around eight to nine. Who knows? Maybe even ten hours. I've been also, I've done stuff and then I was like, uh, hmm, I'm not that sure I like what I did and I, I delete some stuff, but anyway, it's done and I'm pretty satisfied now. Plus, uh, I want to, to say from the beginning that today, or for today's video actually, I took inspiration from Nant. Someone in the last uh, video, I think, yeah, I think it was in the last video, left a comment saying, "Hey, Skib, uh, there are other cities you can from uh, from which you can take inspiration. Uh, one of them can be Nantes." And uh, I know not only, I mean, I've got like like many of those type of comments uh, from you guys saying that go to Rennes, go to Bordeaux, uh, and so on. And um, I had some looks uh, fast let's say looks there uh, but I, I was trying to build in here some more Paris style stuff at least around the uh, main uh, train station that I just built not that I just built because I built it a long time ago <laughs> uh, the only one that we have right now in the city and um, I also had a, I did the same thing having a fast look over the, the Nantes city and I saw something very fast and I was like, oh yes, I want this in my city too. And I took inspiration. So guys, uh, better uh, show you on Google Earth what I am talking about. So when I look for Nant, uh, Google Earth gets you around here on this building. I don't know who lives there. I don't care. <laughs> uh, and as soon as I was looking like here, oh, oh, what we have here, a church. Oh, what we have here, a beautiful intersection. Oh, wait, there is a square about here, wanna be, with some bus stops too. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I said, okay, let, let me let me try to do something in this way. I didn't want to copy it. I did. I just want to make this little plaza in front of a, a big cathedral uh, in my city too. With a road, something like this, linked, uh, and some crazy stuff. Plus this square about, I loved it. I didn't place it in the same spot. I placed it somewhere o over here on the right side of the cathedral. Uh, and uh, it, it, it would be a bit uh, bigger, <coughs> I know, and different than what you see here. But the idea, that's what I try to do. I try to inspire, not to copy. Uh, by the way, uh, this uh, Museum of History is... Oh my god, it's, it's amazing. It, it looks amazing, I swear, guys. It's... Wow. Uh, look at these uh, intersections here, roundabouts, intersections. I love it. I love it. Uh, if I knew before, I think I might have started uh, by copying, or not copying, but inspiring from Nant more. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing before, um, arranging this intersection. So, um, one more thing that I want to add uh, about these videos. Uh, I got rid of the splitted screen. As you can remember, before I had uh, the screen split in two, like uh, when I was working on something, sometimes you could have seen a cinematic with how the entire build would look like. Well, I got rid of it. I just want to leave the time lapse now. Uh, you can see more in at the cinematics at the end of this video, as usual, which I kind I kindly uh, highly advise you to do so because uh, you can see better the entire build and everything. But uh, again. It was a really, really beautiful build. I totally, totally enjoyed it. Uh, here I did a parking area. 
because I think it would be better to talk us also about what uh, I am doing uh, at the very moment. So I did the parking area. Those are like uh, in the picture, in the picture, in the Google Earth, sorry, uh, as well. And uh, I've added few of them on some on both sides of the church or the cathedral, and at the bottom of the cathedral too. And also I. I wanted to add some stairs uh, to this cathedral. I don't have the mode that allows me to raise the buildings without raising the uh, ground around the building itself. Uh, last time I checked it was not working and uh, you know what, at this point I have too many modes. So let's just add some uh, stairs, uh, really nice stairs uh, and people will kinda be sunking uh, into the stairs but you know what, uh, they suck anyway, <laughs> they don't know how to they don't know how to walk, uh, nevertheless, so <laughs> who cares? Let, let's, uh, let's leave them as uh, they are. Uh, I found it a bit, let's say, more interesting to have, uh, like, stairs for that cathedral. Usually, big cathedrals have stairs uh, in order to get inside, and that was a thing that I really, really, really wanted to, to add it. Um, and um, in my opinion it looks better. I will add some uh, decals or maybe let's say procedural object textures in front of it in the plaza area uh, to make it look more beautiful and better. Uh, I'm adding uh, all kind of details uh, on the roads, uh, near the roads, as much as I can. Uh, and nevertheless how many I plop them down I still feel like I didn't add enough of details uh, we are still I don't want to say far away behind with um, what we can see and find in real life but well I don't know maybe I I'm missing some stuff and I don't add them on and when I say you know when I talk about this I mean about the props and stuff that you can see on the roads or uh, near the roads well, if I have to take it from uh, what I know, we have to add more roads in construction or cars and workers that are repairing the roads or stuff like this. Plus all kind of props like uh, um, advertising. I don't want to say phone booths because they are not kind of... I don't know where they are being used. In my country, you barely see one and if you see one, it's like almost abandoned and you ask yourself why he's still there so uh, those kind of props nah I, I feel like they're not supposed to be in the, no more on the roadside on the pathway uh, here in front of the church I'm adding a statue I feel like statues a statue uh, this is like a lady it looks like uh, Saint Mary and something something so it kind of fits the entire uh, area and theme here. I, I love it. I love it. Um, I will add a few more things uh, like benches, uh, some trees and whatnot in order to make it uh, look more full of life. I will even add some invisible pathways. I will add some uh, event uh, generators, those invisible parks that uh, uh, bring people uh, here and spend some time uh, and make it more look more vibrant and more uh, full of life I'm adding also some grass uh, over these uh, Procedure object decals so the decals that you see on the ground right now guys. They are not on the workshop You cannot find them on the workshop. Uh, I've these are some textures made by me for procedure objects only if you have them all you can use them but also you can use them of course if you have them and uh, the only way to have them is, well, uh, if you are um, a follower of my Patreon uh, account, I'm sharing them uh, there some textures usually, I'm sharing there some um, previews, uh, pick, uh, some pictures with what I'm working at. Uh, I will upload the save games, by the way, it's about time. Uh, I'm going in the very next days. Uh, I'm going to upload the save game for uh, Little Friends. Uh, at how the city looks at episode number eight. The the only reason I haven't done this so far is because I wanted to have some stuff in the city, 
uh, the collection uh, I, th I think I made some stupid mistakes and I had some extra thing uh, things um, that I'm subscribed to and I haven't added them in the collection I need to be sure all e are in the collection and also there are some uh, locally um, stuff that you have to save but I will provide everything necessary for those who are interested uh, for well only for patrons patrons Patrons, patrons. How do you provide? I don't know how to pronounce exactly this word. So uh, only my patrons can can uh, download the save game and uh, have a look on the map uh, if they want to to see little friends from a closer perspective. And of course, um, I want to um, say again thank you for all those who support my channel on Patreon. It's amazing, and uh, you guys are really doing an amazing effort to show some um, to provide some support and show some uh, uh, so well actually not show uh, but um, making me want to do more uh, that's I mean it's like a boost it's like a a big thing for for us for the creators uh, when people show you interest in your videos and your work and everything you do uh, it really gives you a boost and uh, you they make me wa want to do more of course not I, i'm not talking about the money uh, itself uh, but again for the support because this support is coming uh, from your comments likes on the videos subscribers and everything you guys this is this is support this is um, uh, a boost for us at least for me it is it works like a boost when i see really great comments for instance the uh, italian series that i'm working uh, it i wasn't expecting not even by far such an amazing uh, feedback from you guys and it makes me want to do more but i had to take a break and do some under videos and now little friends videos i don't know if i'm going to post like a week in one week i will post uh, the uh, some videos from the nova colina uh, series and uh, in the next week from Arndorf and then from little friends and so on maybe it will be randomly done i don't know it, it depends on my mood and my inspiration and what i'm going to do if i know what i'm going to do well it, it was, it's going to work like that uh, about the video <laughs> the video it's like 30 minutes long uh, it should have been like maybe even 50 minutes if not even more I don't know how I've managed to cut so much from the video well I think I know I'm, I cut everything that I'm doing over and over again so you guys can see the main idea and then you can imagine that the rest of it is in the same way uh, so I cut a lot, I mean a lot from this video uh, But I'm satisfied uh, because you guys can understand what I'm uh, doing And for those who don't know some stuff and can take inspiration, it's pretty easy And for those who want to see stuff doing a, slow, a bit slower than it is already You guys can slow down the video uh, because the YouTube can offer you this uh, uh, possibility Yeah, of course, my voice, it, it will be very like this if you are going to slow down the video but uh that can be uh fixed with the mute uh, with the mute button uh here we have uh, there is an old building near the cathedral there and i wanted to add something like this i found this amazing building you can find it in the collection of uh, little friends at the description of the video and uh, I've added some uh, new textures for those uh, walls plus I added those walls uh, vanilla um, broken walls which look pretty cool uh, it's like you know before and after it's like uh, the broken one it's how the walls were looking uh, and the other side is like they are, have been redone rebuilt uh, and I think uh, yeah, I think it's pretty okay-ish. At least you can see when some of the old structures are being uh, rebuilt. Uh, you can see from you can see the difference between old and new. No matter how good the engineers and architects are, you can still see the difference. Plus, it's more clean. <laughs> Uh, I will add, uh, I'm adding some buildings here on this area, I'm not going to show you that um, And also a metro station At the point we will have a metro 
not one. We have m lots of metro lines in between the city. Uh, I'm not. They are not linked. Uh, you can only see the exits and entrances to the metro stations. Uh, but uh, we will have. Um, not sure when exactly this will happen, but we will have for sure uh, some metro lines going around the city. Depends on how big the city can be. Unfortunately, I cannot show you a ride uh, inside there. It would have been really cool to see a ride uh, in the metro system, even though you can't see anything. But yeah, it could have been cool. Um, but I will show you when when the entire metro system will be done. I will show you how it looks like. Um, for now, I'm working at the city, building it, make it grow bigger. Uh, hopefully, we will have more bus lines and tram lines in the city and uh, it, it will it will go pretty cool i don't know for how many episodes we will go for little friends i will I, i'm hoping for as many as i can uh because uh, i really do enjoy this series and uh, i love when i go on google earth and search for some french style uh builds and buildings and uh, i want to inspire from there taking and put them on the on my map it's really beautiful and interesting and enjoy everything uh, but at a point uh, in this way if I go like this and when I say like this I mean like adding lots of details trust me my PC will start vomiting and the FPS will be like uh, almost none and I will not be able to play then it, it will be really unbearable I when I reach 5 FPS it's game over. I mean like GG, skip, but can't do it anymore. At this point we are going around 10 FPS. It depends the area where we are. In some areas are the FPS is even better. But uh, we can uh, for sure... Um, I'm sure we can go for around 30 episodes in total, maybe even more. Uh, Ardov is also... Uh, a big series already, but there the percentage of let's say uh, details uh, are quite big. I mean, here in uh, Little Friends, I reached the uh, same amount of props and uh, procedural objects used in Arndorf in uh, five episodes, I guess, and in Arndorf, I'm almost at episode 40. So you can do the math, uh, but who cares? It's important to have some really good uh, videos, quality, and uh, interesting uh, details around here. I'm about. I just finished the area around the church. Well, uh, of course, not everything in front of the camera. Some stuff are off camera. Some stuff are being cut from the camera. You can't see it. Uh, but now let's move to the square about because I can't call it uh, roundabout. It will work like a square about. Uh, I've added a, a tunnel which goes under the square about. A tunnel that doesn't exist in real life. Uh, it's something, well, I have to give my own touch in um, <laughs> here in this entire build. Uh, I felt, well, I couldn't deviate too much the tram uh, boulevard there. I had to keep it there and after all, I'm satisfied. You'll see because I'm going to turn those uh, tunnels into some green stuff tunnels. Uh, don't get me wrong or uh, think I'm too crazy, but uh, these kind of things should happen in real life too. Because uh, nature over tunnels, nature over roads, over highways and whatnot. Uh, only The only thing that the nature does is to cut from the noise, from the pollution, and from the uh, from the noise pollution, of course. And uh, this should be done, stuff like this should be done in more cities in real life. Uh, again, it's not in, uh, I haven't seen it in Nantes or somewhere else, uh, again, it's just my own touch. I'm going to cover this entire three lane square about, let's call it again. I'm going to cover it with uh, asphalt and uh, later on I'm going to uh, transform the roads or upgrade the roads, let's say, into 
highway roads for some good reasons. First of all, the highway roads are not being sunk, are not sunk, uh, sunken. Uh, and uh, second of all, second of all uh, the, the pathways around the highway roads, actually there are no pathways and people cannot walk there. Otherwise, we could have seen people uh, crossing and uh, going crazy around the, the roads if I would have left them normal roads and plus uh, the cars would have been sunk into the asphalt and it would have been really really bad for our uh, eyes. Um, I'm adding a lot of these medians, medians. they are beautiful, uh, if you don't like it uh, then uh, too bad. I like them. In some cases they might not fit, in some cases they work like pathways. I mean people can walk on them if they want to, on some of them. I'm adding lots of parking areas uh, or parking lots on the roadside because there are actually no lanes and uh, the cars can park which is good. The only bad thing about these parking area, parking lots uh, on the highway roads is that people cannot cross the roads to, to reach them out and when they want to go to, <laughs> to, the, uh, to the cars they have a very um, Michael Jackson moonwalk uh, style uh, of course at a very big speed and they look very funny but uh, it is what it is unfortunately I can't do nothing about it I could have add some um, invisible pathways but then the cars would have hit hit the, the, the people and uh, they already do that so let's not bring more crimes uh, here into the scenery because it, uh, it's not bueno uh, now we are, I'm going to do the upgrade uh, on the tunnels that I was telling you about the green tunnels uh, they don't look like whoa they are amazing they don't look bad they look okayish I could have uh, even covered them with something else but I, I went for this stuff, uh, for me they look pretty awesome, um, they look like a wild crossings over the highways if you do rem if you know them, uh, such things uh, can be found uh, above some highways, it's not the case there now because we don't have wild animals here that need to cross the, <laughs> um, the streets or something but uh, well who knows maybe we have not maybe we, for sure we have uh, wild people uh, in the city crossing the roads and everything in a very strange manner I was about to not add, add the, the lines in the square about uh, but I wanted to go for them I totally totally love and uh, enjoy these uh, this kind of things, uh, I love seeing lines everywhere, clean, nice lines. Uh, even though the <laughs> the video is, it's has like five or five hundred speed, uh, five times speed um, as usual, the time lapses. I look like I'm moving very very slow, and I don't understand why because the, again the video is very speed up. Anyways. And that is because um, the move it, you know, when you have to move something with move it and you have lots of stuff on the map already, uh, it barely moves and it's very, very hard. That's why I told you guys, if I have 5 FPS, it's, um, it's impossible. Impossible to detail. It's really impossible. I al my already, already my cinematics are, are looking a bit crunchy, crunchy. They are not smooth anymore. And uh, I'm not that very pleased, but unfortunately I have to close my eyes and you should do the same for the th those short moments when the FPS can be seen in the cinematics. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? I'm, I'm going to add lots of stuff. Uh, I'm adding off camera and not only uh, more details over this roundabout like uh, stains, damage decals, so the, look, the, the road looks like it's damaged in some areas, patches, scratches, tire, tire markings and everything that it needs to be done. Uh, the, I keep calling uh, square about it because the square works like a roundabout, you can, uh, who is in the square uh, has priority. Um, 
I'm adding a new road because after... That's how I wanted from the beginning and then I changed my mind and then at the end I get got back to the idea. Uh, and I've added here a bus station. Uh, if you remember from the Nantes... Uh, Google Earth um, that I was showing you there was a bus a big bus station there I added only a small one like a bus stop more likely and I added an invisible pathway so people can cross the street there and they will be waiting for um, the bus really nice they're almost really nice and uh, it's working pretty pretty cool I'm totally digging for this uh, idea I'm really, really happy with uh, how it went. Uh, anyways, uh, we are getting close to the end of this video, guys. Uh, hope you did enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for any type of support you've shown to me and to my uh, channel. I love your feedbacks. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new here, uh, a subscribe might help you, of course, me as well, uh, but might help you to watch more of this series and the other series I I'm doing, plus lots of videos that I'm going to upload. For those who are following me on Patreon can find the new stuff, stuff that cannot be seen anywhere else. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram where I post lots of really cool pictures on Instagram really once or twice per day. Guys, I will leave you now with the cinematics. Wish you all the best and of course I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye guys and I salute you.